All right, so yeah, we just got in to beautiful Lake Eufaula. I just drove in from my house, which is about 45 miles from here, actually, over in Tuskegee. And I hadn't been in Eufaula in about a year, but it's February. We've had a nice warming trend. These fish should definitely be hardcore pre-spawn, maybe even a few poking their heads up on beds. And so we're really gonna try to give that a go and see if we can't put establish a pattern and catch us some big pre-spawn females. It should be fun. I started bass fishing, man, when I was probably about 10 years old. I had moved from Richmond, where I'm originally from, to a town called Fairfield. And there, you know, I couldn't fish the bay no more. I used to fish the bay with my dad every weekend. And uh, now, you know, I was, I was living in Fairfield in the bay, you know, 35 miles away. But I still had the love, dude. And so, I'd, uh, I started hitting up all the local ponds, fishing and all that kind of stuff and uh, started catching bass out of these ponds man and once I caught my first couple that was it man I was hooked joined the club started fishing club tournaments got the whole tournament concept down and it was really no turning back after that it was it was game on First tournament, I think I was 14. I had joined the, my first real tournament when I was 14. I joined the club when I was 11. When I was 14, that's when it really, that's when it really happened. Fetched my first it was West Coast Bass Pro-Am. I had to get my parents to write a special letter just so I could fish. I was too young to really fish, but but they looked out. They let me, they let me, they let me fish. It was cool. You know, I was an ag biologist for six years prior to turning pro. And, um, you know, I went to school and got my degree in environmental science. Um, moved back to California, started working in ag. And uh, I needed something to keep me outside, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not an office type of a guy. So, you know, getting a, getting a degree in that, in, that, in that major was perfect for me. And then getting that job as an ag inspector, man, Keep me outside was, was 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 what I needed for sanity purposes. <laughs> so that yeah, worked out. Got two kids, man. Two two beautiful kids, man. They're grown, about grown now. They both love the outdoors, love to fish, and uh, man, I could I couldn't be happier. My son's ate up with basketball right now, so that's his that's his deal and. You know, as bad as I want him to fish, I'm not gonna force that upon him. I'm letting him do it naturally if that's what he chooses to do. So, you know, right now hoops his deal, so I support him in that. Make sure he can't beat me, stay out there on the court. Can't have that. And uh, and my daughter, she's a, she's a little cheerleader. So, you know, I'm really blessed, man. I can't be any happier with my two kids, you know. And uh, just like my parents with me, man, keeping them in the outdoors on the water. I think it has a lot to do with keeping them out of trouble. Because when you love this here, you don't have time for much else. Or you might have time for it, but you'd rather be doing this. And now that's what saved me. So I'm definitely doing the same with, with my kids. Little dude, he likes to flow worms. See, they're back there getting ready already, like I was telling you, to spawn in them little holes and pockets. This, this floating worm can be an absolute killer. It's such a goofy technique, man, these methylate worms. I don't have a clue as to why they bite these things, but they absolutely love them, and uh, it's become one of my favorite baits. What's really cool about the Elastex is before I catch a fish or two, biting the head off, plastic's tearing up, you know, you just, you know, bringing it through cover like this, it's just getting beat up and you're always having to re-rig. Well now, with this Elastec, I mean, you see how strong this stuff is. I'm gonna catch 10, 15, 20, 30 bass, at least, on this one bait before I have to re-rig, re get a new bait. And that just makes it so much easier. It makes me that much more efficient when I'm out here on the water. And that's the other thing, this the methylate worm, 
with it being such a bright color and obnoxious, it has a lot of what we call drawing power. And it'll do just that sometimes. You'll get these big fish come up and they'll look at it, swirl on it, and not eat it. But it, 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 it makes them show themselves, which is cool. Because then you can come back and like I said, throw a zinc or Z in there, maybe a, a hula stick or something more finesse a big TRD, and you catch that fish. That's what separates Z-Man with, with Elastex from every other soft plastic company out there. I mean, this stuff is extremely buoyant. You get a totally different action than you would out of any other soft plastic bait. And for me, you know, that's, that's everything. Just a little bit different look, the buoyancy, and uh, obviously the fish catching, which is the best part. That's two bites and two casts.